Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look. They're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free. My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you We just don't see you Wear these clothes and coat of many colours Then we can see you Don't go hiding in the trees no more Or crawl through the bushes on the forest floor You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you you ever felt so sad you can wear these anytime you want to and we will see you yes we can see you that looks so cool do you feel better now joe and yes we can see you comes Jimmy the Rabbit. Oh dear. It looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? 
An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, the squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Jake, it looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, Shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. Here comes Henrietta Hen. Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs. But they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite. Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval. An oval. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg. This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon, you look like you're enjoying your wheel there. 
Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Great. Who's our last patient at the Pet Rescue Centre today? This is Gordon the Hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon, you look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Oh, look. Here comes Felix at 11 o'clock. Felix, you're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates! Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Here's Colin the chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? 
Hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Here comes our second patient, Chili the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear Chili, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chili is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. You just aren't used to being indoors in warm places. Emperor penguins just like you All have fat and feathers too That's to keep you warm, you know When you play out in the snow Sledging down the icy hill You don't ever feel the chill You have lots to keep you warm Even in a big snowstorm Yes, it's true what I've been told Where you're from, it's very cold In the Antarctic you are not Now you're feeling far too hot Just to keep you cold and nice We've, we've made, made you this coat of ice This will keep you nice and cool When you're feeling hot in school This coat is made of ice which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on Earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. 
but this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Here comes Boris the pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish.